why most bank robberies take place on Fridays. In this video, we'll go over the seven most amazing, successful heists around the world. And we will also tell you why on earth most bank robberies happen on a Friday. And what is actually the best time to rob a bank? Keep watching because this video will amaze you. Apart from winning the lottery, robbing a bank is yet another time-honored technique that's favored by those who wish to never work again. Of course, it's the most extreme method to make it rain money. But most robbers end up getting caught one way or the other. Perhaps the fact that most bank robberies tend to take place on Fridays doesn't work in their favor. And yes, most bank robberies take place on Fridays. Let's find out why. Pulling off a money heist from a bank is one tough job as the popular series Money Heist shows. In fact, it's even tougher than that. But there are very few special and successful heists that have taken place around the world that you wouldn't believe. Let's dive in, guys. In 2005, the Banco Central Bank in Fortaleza, Brazil was stripped of an estimated $71.6 million. The heist was so magnificent and well thought out that it was recognized in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's greatest bank robbery of all time. To pull off this ambitious robbery, a 25-member team of conniving robbers set up a front as a landscaping business. The team then spent three months digging a 256-foot tunnel which would lead them directly to the bank's vault floor. Once they were inside, they took several containers that had 160 million Brazilian reais, which in US dollars at the time was worth around $71.6 million. While eight people were arrested, later on only 20 million reais were ever recovered. Think that was too good to be true? Listen to this next one, which was a two-man job. Valerio Vice came close to committing the perfect crime in London in 1987. The man had a lot of practice. He was already wanted in connection with more than 50 robberies in Italy. Looks like the man had a taste of crime and never had a better thrill. Vice and an assistant walked into the Knightsbridge Bank London and requested to rent out a safe deposit box. Once the men were shown to the bank's vault, they overpowered the bank manager and the guards by pulling out weapons. They then hung a closed sign on the bank's door and let some friends inside. Together, they broke into as many safe deposit boxes as possible and made off with nearly $97 million in cash and other valuables. Vite fled to South America with whatever he had stolen, but he was eventually arrested in a very ironic way. He was finally put behind bars when he returned to England to ship his brand new Ferrari home to South America. From Brazil to England, bank robbers don't spare any country, not even the United States of America. The biggest cash heist in the United States history took place in 1997 when six men robbed the cash handling facility Dunbar Armored, which used to supply money securely in armored vehicles to several banks across the country. Well, these criminals got right to the source. The leader of this group was Alan Pace, who, as it turned out, worked as a safety inspector at Dunbar Armored. Misusing his position at the company, Alan timed the security cameras at the Donbar Los Angeles facility so that they wouldn't detect him. He then recruited five of his childhood pals to help him rob the vault. They broke in successfully and assaulted two guards on their lunch breaks. They loaded $18.9 million into a U-Haul and took off. Did they get away with it? Well, almost, till one of the robbers got a bit sloppy and made the mistake of lending some stolen cash to a friend. He forgot to remove the original cash straps. That mistake certainly did cost them heavily. Apart from all these mistakes, bank robbers subconsciously made a large one together. Most of them decide to rob banks on Fridays, and here's why. According to statistics compiled by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, or the FBI, Friday takes the crown as the day of the week that's most popular for a bank robbery in America. The report, which was released in 2011, stated that out of the 5,629 robberies in 2010, 20% took place on a Friday. Why is that? This bizarre fact is thought to have stemmed from the belief that banks have more money on hand on Friday, as it is usually when people receive their paychecks. This similar logic may apply to Christmas time and other major festivals as well when there's an influx of people cashing in their Christmas bonus or sending cash to friends and relatives. For example, in 2004, just a week before Christmas, a group of robbers disguised themselves as police officers and broke into the homes of two bank managers in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Since their families were held hostage, the managers agreed not to alert anyone and go to work as normal the next day as instructed by the robbers. When the workday came to an end, the managers, against their best wishes, were forced to let the thieves into the bank or risk never seeing their family again. The thieves stole about 26.5 million British pounds and other foreign currency and the total amount that was stolen amounted to around $41 million. 
This was, and still is, the biggest bank robbery in Irish history, and what's worse is that the case is still unsolved. Only one person from the group has been arrested and that was only because he was caught for money laundering. Well, what's even more strange is that there's a popular time frame when robbers decide to act too. But before we reveal the timings when most robberies take place and why, let's take a look into a few more thrilling bank robberies. The year was 1976 and Lebanon was in the grips of a civil war. Well, a group of robbers decided to cash in on the confusion. Why not? In what came to be one of the most brazen robberies in world history, the group burst through the walls of a Catholic church using explosives to enter the British Bank of the Middle East which was next to it. The robbers left no stone unturned and so meticulous was their planning that they even brought along professional locksmiths with them to crack open the vault. They made off with an estimated $44.5 million in stocks, jewels, cash and gold bars amongst other valuables. Not even a dollar worth of the loot was recovered and to this day no one has ever been arrested for this crime. Those are some lucky criminals, for the stolen goods today will easily be more than three times what their value was in 1976. They were probably first-time robbers. Another statistic about robbery states that a first-time robber's odds of getting caught are about 20%, whereas for a fourth-time robber, the odds stand at 60%. Call a beginner's luck if you may. If you don't believe us, let us take an example of a bank heist that was organized by Emil Dinsu, who is a professional criminal from Ohio. In fact, he has been described by historians and federal agents as the most successful bank burglar in the United States. Well, Dinsio had mistakenly overheard that President Nixon kept a multi-million dollar cash fund in a vault at the United California Bank. So, he assembled a gang of six accomplices and flew them to California in 1972, where they rented a townhouse. The team used dynamites to explode their way into the vault and got away with $30 million worth of cash and other valuables. They then fled from California after meticulously scrubbing down the rented townhouse, or so they thought. The cops eventually identified the robbers because they had given a taxi driver a very generous tip. Also, the townhouse wasn't actually scrubbed down that meticulously. The cops found fingerprints on the inside of the dishwasher. Everybody makes a mistake. Coming to the most popular time amongst bank robbers, well, it is between 9am and 11am. Again, the reason for the popularity of this time frame is the notion that banks will have more cash on hand at the time. These aspects may be true to a certain extent, but banks don't work twice as fast on Fridays either. This means that checks get deposited at the same pace as any normal day irrespective of the time. In fact, a lot of people even avoid going to the bank on Fridays because of the crowd. Here's another interesting statistic. A study of British bank robberies stated that the average amount stolen was $19,000, which is equivalent to a cafe worker's annual salary. Well, it's no wonder that Britain's most notorious bank heist was in fact an inside job. In 1983, Anthony Black, a security guard at Brinksmat, led a group of robbers into the company's warehouse at Heathrow International Trading Estate. The group made off with $41 million in cash, gold bullions and diamonds. While most of the robbers were eventually caught, the gold is still at large. But the fact of the matter is bank robberies decreased from 2000 to 2010 in the United States and still continue to decline, all thanks to online banking. But the criminals too have evolved and turned to online theft instead, posing as Nigerian princes and whatnot. And that's all for today. Which bank robbery in fact did you find the most bizarre? Comment below. As always, smash the thumbs up button and share the video. Subscribe to our channel and push the notification bell so that you don't miss the next why that we answer. Thank you for watching and goodbye.